All right, so for Warrior, we keep a one drop. I don't keep Sonya. I know it says it's a high win rate when kept. Actually, it's not even a high win rate when kept. Literally, one of my best, most kept cards is not even a winning card. Oh, no. Uh, I'd rather play this first before I excavate just to get a minion on the board. It's just nice. This is not very useful, but I mean, card draw is card draw. Three mana, draw one. Like, there will probably be a turn where I have some mana left over. I can play it. And we hit. Oh, baby. So I think I play this and then whatever I get or this, this next turn. Those are my two options. How long will it take until they nerf Warrior? I want to play the game again. They probably won't nerf it until the mini set comes out, but... Like, they could hotfix Bran and, like, ban him. They've done it for other cards in the past. I feel like the Jailer was not as problematic as this. Maybe I'm remembering it wrong. But it feels just as oppressive. Like, oh, I've been locked out of the game. This is fun. I play this first because it gives me a one-mana reward that I can maybe use. I do like Water Source, but I don't really want to use it right now. So we'll play that and go face. Keeper's Strength is interesting. It's definitely a playable card. I just don't really think it's very good right now. I can play you and then you possibly together on turn five to draw a card, just thin things out a little bit. I'm surprised Water Source isn't a nature spell. Water is nature, right? I would assume. Won't nerf it because it's not broken. But like, if it's something that actively ruins people's experience in the game, is mine. I feel like that's also like I've already said that I don't think he's 100% broken, right? I've actually already said that I don't want. I don't think that it's the most broken thing in the world. I think that there are probably stronger decks like Hunter. I think Hunter is ridiculously strong right now. Um, I think that the new Paladin deck that's seeing more play, the, the Sea Giant one, is also really, really strong right now. Um, but, like, when you have a deck that just ruins people's will to play, and you have multiple streamers and multiple people who have said... Like, if I just see a warrior, a lot of the time I just concede because it's not worth playing against. That's when all of a sudden, we have a bit of a problem. That's when we have a problem on our hands. When a deck feels so bad to play against that you're like, I wish that I just wasn't playing. <laughs> mm, stealing a spell from their deck could maybe be okay. Getting a um, an undead minion for tempo on board is also okay. We don't want that. We are hoping for some sort of removal here, but it's okay. Uh, I'll go boom. Think. Because I don't really think there are that many good spells, and I low-key don't even want to thin out his deck and make it more likely he draws the high-impact cards. Rush, combo gain poisonous. We can just kill off you. For zero. We can also play Mishmash Mosher next turn. I mean, I'll just play it. I don't care. We'll kill off the 4-4. This lives. Like, problem isn't always power level. That's rough. That's bad. Uh, you could give me something good. If you don't, then I hero power and then dart. I mean, execute exists. Executes two fucking mana. Oh, I take six damage, but it's fine. I don't care. Wait, execute isn't two mana. I don't know why I thought that. It's one mana, right? Well, now I'm in my own head. No, yeah, it's one mana. Why did I think it was two mana? What was I thinking? Most of the cards that were nerfed last patch were not broken, but they made the game not fun. I disagree. I think Nature Shaman was actually insane. That's rude. I'm not a fan of that. They could bash it, which would be a little bit unfortunate, but... What are you targeting it with? You can't canary it. 
Best deck against Reno Warrior? Let me see. I can look at the matchups. Uh, matchups after hundreds, if not thousands, of games. The best win rate deck is. Fuck. I mean, I can execute it and kill it, I guess. We can also play stick up and see what we get first. Um, refreshing mana crystals is just fine, I guess. I don't I don't think it matters too much, honestly. Justice is mine. Execute it. Hero power pass. I don't want to play the wishing well with so few coins in my hand. I want to get more value out of it, but I think next turn I just have to play it. I think next turn it just comes down to playing the card at the end of the day. Doesn't matter if I don't have more coins. I mean, if I can draw a greedy partner off the top, that would be fantastic. Or a bounty wrangler off the top, that would be incredible. But again, he also has Reno, which is a problem. Also, don't want to play Keeper Strength because it could wipe my own board. But the best deck seems to be... Actually, Mining Rogue seems to do well against it. Wishing Well Rogue is worse because the deck is worse, but the matchup is actually pretty good with this deck. Um... The kind of hybrid Dragon Paladin, I think, does okay against it. Just hero power is crazy. I just want to set up the little one. So that way I have the one mana one in my hand for the future. And it's going to go coin and then coin. Let's see what we get. So you're useless. I mean, it's fine. He can't play Reno yet. It's stuff I can resummon with Tess. Oh, I have an undead minion. Sick. We didn't top deck as well as we. Eh, Brawl, Blade Storm. Actually, Blade Storm doesn't really work here, but Brawl, the seven mana dude, the gift, sanitize. Uh, Trial by Fire. What other removals does Warrior have? Reno, although he can't play it yet. There's probably at least one or two more. I mean, Warrior's just a fucking removal king right now. Kill Warriors with Snake Lock. The armor isn't an issue. Here's the thing. They can double activate Dirty Rat and snipe your snake and ruin your combo. Now, hold on. Might be cooking here. Uh, I'll be overloaded, but I don't think I care. I think I'd rather just be able to hit him in the face here. I don't want to play him. I don't want to play him. I want to try to generate resources or do something. Because I don't have that many other ways of generating value. Reno, to get rid of this. Bladestorm into Execute. Damn, dude. It actually was like the worst one to have lived, by the way. Do you have this in a bigger size? You got Shadow Step, which is nice. Let the bad I would like to get some sort of removal, maybe? The sands. Or draw, I mean. This is beautiful. No, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Fucking beautiful, I tell you. God damn. Because we get to play you and then get two of these guys. We also get two scoundrels. Duplicate my hand. Play another one. Don't mind if I fucking do. Get him in the face. Value. Value, baby. Uh, You're f so good. You are so good. You are so good. But it, it'll probably get renoed, so I'm just gonna take this and play it. I don't love it, but it's fine. I don't actually want to play Hidden Meaning. Actually, no, if he plays Reno, it's fine. Could also just be like Ice Trap to mess with him. I'll just do Ice Trap and pass. So now we don't have to worry as much about running out of resources, because I can just play a Tess, flood the board, Force him to try to respond to it some way. Like, yeah, it would have been great to get the other thing with Raiden, but the problem is Reno 
I could have just taken him and played him after he played Reno. But my hand was full, and I kind of messed that up a little bit. Okay. Which one did I even pick? Did I take ice? I did take ice. Okay, good, 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 good. Because it kills her off. The problem is if I play Keeper Strength, it'll wipe my own board. Think. Hmm. I this is you have no idea what I'm capable of. Jam session's fine. Execute. Okay, that's pretty good. I like that. What do you give me? Brawl's pretty useless. We draw a card there. Rehydrate. Actually restores a lot of stuff. Trap. It's cool. Boom. Have to get a coin. Um, shit, 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 shit. Actually, that'll go away at the end of my turn, so it's not that bad. It's a pretty good board, I would say. What are you? Freezing trap. He goes to 11 mana, and it doesn't die. Wait, that's actually best case scenario. I mean, that was expected, to be honest. I don't really care. Get freezing trapped, idiot. Get bamboozled, swindled, you fool. Dart throw, more like, oh no. We're gonna go boom, Just hit, hero, power pass. Mine. Pretty bad hand. Zilliax is 11 mana now, so it's unplayable, at least. Do keep her strength. I don't want to play it until after I played Tess. I think my win condition is probably Scorpion. He hasn't played Bran yet. The problem with Keeper Strength, like I said, is if I play it, then it guarantees that Tess destroys my own board pretty much. As soon as I play it. I would love another Shadow Step, by the way. Oh, yeah. I would love Shadow Step or Breakdance. Breakdance would be incredible. Breakdance would be truly nuts. I could make him overdraw a card maybe by bouncing it back to his hand. Maybe he burns something important like Reno. That could be good. It's not like he has a battle cry or anything. The Wishing Quell. Quell, Quell, Quell. Look who we have here. Hmm. Gotta make him overdraw. Maybe we can hit something nuts. He also... played a decent amount of removal. Now this is you have no idea what I'm capable of. I don't mind this at all. We flood the board, we draw an extra card or two. You're gonna cost zero, which is great. Oh, I have no space to play it? Wait. Oh, you pumped that. No. Okay, Garrosh Skift. It's useless. I'm not really gonna play. Execute could kill my own minion. No, it doesn't kill my own minion. Okay, I'm happy about this. This is not bad. He lost cards? Boom Boss, which is pretty huge, actually. Still no Drilly the Kid, by the way, but it doesn't matter. We should be able to excavate all of our cards relatively soon. He also already played Dirty Rit, right? Or was that the last one? <gasps> no, he already played Dirty Rit. No, it was a gifted one, though. Aftershocks? Oh, yikes. Wait, what are you, then? Oh, you're Rat Trap. I was like, were you not Ice Trap? But no, it already triggered. That's my bad. Oh man. Oh man. That sucked. Can't even play this. Am I playing too slow? Justice is mine. 
Hero power, get an epic card. I'd probably just play it in the end, regardless of what it is. My hand is gonna be too full, and I'll overdraw a card, which is actually not what I want to have happen here. So... Shit. I guess it's pass? I mean, I'll only overdraw one card. And if it's this, or this, it's fine. And it summons a minion. What the hell, man? Oh god, I'm gonna overdraw it, and I know it's gonna be like Drilly the Kid or something. Fuck. I have two coins. I don't wanna overdraw Bounty Wrangler. I want to save my other cards to get extra value off of the scorpion, which I think is good. And he still hasn't played Brand, so I haven't really been super worried. He doesn't summon anything on the right side. Hammer. Cool. Okay, just overdraw me. Dig for treasure. That is the best card you can overdraw me here, game. Literally, dig for treasure is the best card. Oh, we lost a coin. Yikes. It's not what I wanted to lose. We lost a coin. I'm really wondering why am I holding on to this so long? Um, and the main answer is just that, like, I want to play this with you and summon a bunch of legendaries and then get a bunch of free copies of those legendaries into my hand. And that's, that's where all the value is going to come from. But the problem is I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to get there. This was really bad though. I shouldn't have played this greedy. I should have I should just play it. I should just play it next turn and just say fuck it, send them. I can't just like keep waiting for this hypothetical optimal thing. The fact that I've waited so long is kind of bad cuz I still get several legendaries and several Velorox and Velorox could also give me something that's 4 mana that I can also play. This hand sure. makes no sense. Sure. It's dead though. 100 percent On the bright side, we didn't lose Shadow Step or Breakdance. And if we find Breakdance, I think I could still use Breakdance on Velorock instead of playing Sonia plus the Wishing Well. Because I think that might just be more overall value. Also, infinite value from this is so bad for me. How long can you wait? Two Maw and Paws, and two Slagmaws. So let's not do that then. Let's do this and hit him in the face. Actually, wait. I can do this and get another coin, actually, to be fair. I mean, pumping the minions in my hand could be good, I guess. This will hit the same one twice. I'll then coin again, see if I can hit anything useful. You're okay, I don't hate you. Pump up, play this, hit him in the face for four. We can actually pump up Spurfang, which might be good. I don't know. Funnel cake, hold on. We play Spurfang. We play Slagmaw. We pass. We have two more of these things. That was actually such a good card. Wait, okay. Um, every time I excavate, it becomes faster, which is cool, because I can excavate up to two more times. Didn't play Maw and Paw, but I feel like that's less impactful. He should be running low-ish on removals too, I guess, but... We still have Shadow Steps and Break Dances. Ah. Oh. Sure. Does he ever just keep me, like, board locked? How much removal? Like, sanitize exists. Gift brawl exists. But why would he hit? Alright! Wait, what was that? 
change hat and sunglasses? Aw, oh, shit. Who slag moss? What the fuck? That's crazy. But also, as you wish, my friend, I will put on a hat and sunglasses for the last, like, hour of the stream. No, game of the stream. After I take this turn. One sec. Actually. Excavate, excavate. Just do them both. Just play everything, I guess. Excavate. Excavate. Ma and Paw. Just to empty out my... I forgot I had that weapon. We're not going to talk about it. It's fine. Oh my god, I didn't do this first. Ah, it's okay. We don't want to draw. We don't... Well, this could potentially be interesting. Extra hand size and mana? No, that's actually really good. You just use Sanitize, right? He's already played most of his things. I'll save my ball. I do kind of want to empty my hand, though. So I can play the Scorpion at some point. Yeah, sure, why not? It's fine. I'll put on a hat. Drawing a card? I don't know if that's what you really want to do there, buddy. Oh, wait, he has infinite value. Oh shit, it's infinite. He's not gonna lose in fatigue. Oh my gosh, it's infinite value. He never loses in fatigue. He's saving his removal for when these things come up. He has one more in his deck, I think. Please draw me Shadow Step and or Breakdance. That would be the best thing. That would be absolutely incredible. Five HP? No, come on, man. What the hell? I think I leave this up. I actually think I just leave that up. We're gonna go, uh... I heal anyway. We'll get a coin, because why not? This'll go here, I guess, and then these just go face. We leave the, um... We leave the zero two up. That minion's just gonna keep getting bigger and bigger, but luckily we have the ability to discover up to 12 spells. Here comes the brawl, the gift brawl. Let a big minion live, please. Actually, his zero two living could hurt him. Oh, he's gonna kill his own minion? That's fair. Fine. That makes sense. Am I not gar- Okay, if I draw Dig- Okay, I would have lost my fucking mind if I drew Dig. Let's do this first. See what we get. Throw away the card that costs less. That's problematic for me. But Rush could be good, I guess. Um... Play and then shadow step it. Sure. Just shadow step. Do I want to fracking? The answer is no. I'll play the wheel of death next turn, I guess. Flood the board to play around Bladestorm a little bit. I guess I could have pumped this up too, but we're just trying to empty my hand. Just a, just a tad. Just a, just a smidge. We have two minions in my, ah, uh, hmm. Should I have just played it again regardless? I think I should have just played it again regardless. That was a bit of a misplay, I think. I wanna go fracking next turn to see if I can get double breakdance. If I can get double breakdance, that's so huge. If I can get double breakdance, I could win the game. I mean, I'm already in a good spot, but like, I didn't want to play Wheel of Death with two breakdances still in my hand. Dig for treasure would be the worst top deck here. I have, fuck. It's a 66.7% chance to win the game versus lose it. Okay. Jam sessions, not bad. I respect it. Here. 
Ash is fine. Please. Okay. Now we play fracking. We take break dance. Then we play um, Wheel of Death because we're gonna die anyway. And then uh, I don't actually want to hit with the weapon anymore because I want whatever life steal I can get my hands on. So let's just go this. We don't overdraw. We break dance. We see what we get. Break dance. We don't necessarily want to play it again, nor can we play it again, really. Uh, so let's just play you to flood the board a little bit. This rushes here. These go face. We pass. We want the life steal if we can. Light on cards here. Getting a little light on cards here. The mill on the boom was huge, dude. I know. I'm so happy that I chose to do that. Why do I only stream for like two hours? Because if I stream Hearthstone for longer than that, I start to lose my mind. The meta just hasn't been enjoyable for me for a, a, a decent amount of time, so. I mean, yeah, he's got that. But one Zilliax and one of those isn't actually that good. Ooh, hitting my face is crazy, actually. Hold on. Fight over me gives me another Zilliax, which means I just get to heal. Like, that's rough, but... Wait, is that the only five cost beast in the game? How much damage do I deal? I mean, he heals up a little bit, but I'd rather just play Zilliax here. Or I can save Zilliax because if he never applies pressure, he's never really able to play the game. Holy shit, but this will resummon stuff too. Uh, draw two taunt minions is so bad. That is truly awful. Um, empty my hand, I guess, a little bit. Feral rage to gain armor so I don't die in fatigue is nice. To battle. To battle. And then we pump and gain a little bit of HP and armor and stuff, and we're we're on our way to winning the game, baby. Excited to come back to Hearthstone has been two years. Well, it's a pretty fun game. Last card brand, baby. Let's fuck. Oh no, wait a minute. Hmm. I mean, I wipe the board, right? I just play this, and then I play Keeper Strength, and I can wipe the entire board, but... Oh, jeez. Two rags? Oh, no. I mean, don't get me wrong. Zilliax is really, really good, but I don't think Zilliax is actually enough to win the game here. Okay. Fine. Happy with that. Zilliax does not wipe the board. Oh, that's a 12-12, though. This does 8. There's a chance he hits the wrong thing, though, which is so sad. <laughs> I guess I can double Keeper Strength. Zilliax goes bonk, then bonk, and then... Bink. He's only 7. If I had one more attack, he'd be pretty... Eh, could I hit there? Then go bonk, bonk with both of those, and just double trade here? Justice is mine. I guess I don't hate it actually. Because I can hit 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 and kill both of these and that. But I guess keeper strength is probably just safer removal. We'll just go keeper strength twice. Um we'll see if it hits this. If it hits wrong, then we'll keep her strength again. Unfortunate. Wait, I can just siphon soul. I could have just twisting nethered! Well, that's fine. I can Twisting Nether next turn or whatever. He's in Fatigue. I play Scorpion next turn. He can play his little dude and not die in Fatigue, but I think the Wheel of Death just got me there. Oh, shit. How could I forget that? Twisting Nether? I don't know. The Double Keeper Strength... I, I think the Double Keeper Strength gets a big minion out there, which I think is kind of relevant. I don't know. I, did I attack? 
Oh, I didn't attack with the Zilliax. Oh, that's kind of bad. Kind of stupid. But I win the game in like three turns, right? So it's not that big of a deal, but... Never give up. Okay. The game was mostly over. I, I had Zilliax. I had Inventor Boom. I had another Scorpion. I had a Board Wipe. I had... I was winning the game in three turns. But that was a good game, though. I respect it. <laughs>